What's going on guys, Kelly Yanes back again with another Machine Gun Kelly reaction. This one is called Floor 13 from the album Burn, uh, Hotel Diablo. So this is also called Burning Memories featuring Little Skies. So yeah, I don't know what that is. Why is that tagged in the comments there in the description? But yeah guys, this one apparently he disses Eminem or the kill shot diss. So this one should be crazy. This is a legendary song. I've never listened to it ever before in my life. But a lot of the loyal subscribers told me to react to it after I reacted to the Renegade Freestyle very recently. So this one should be crazy. I can't even wait, man. I got the lyrics here on my phone as well. Let's get it, baby. Let's go. I just spent too many minutes watching little videos of shitty wannabe rappers dissing me. <laughs> I just spent the winter living after someone trying to send a kill shot missing me. Okay, okay guys, he's starting off the second bar. He says, I just spent the winter living after someone tried to send a kill shot missing me. So we all know Eminem released Kill Shot after he released Rap Devil. And I will say Kill Shot was one of the most important disses of all time, guys. That was one of the best rap disses of all time, in my personal opinion. And whether or not he released, you know, he released this album after Eminem released Kill Shot, but he did switch to kind of emo music after. That's not saying anything, but... Machine Gun Kelly is one of the best rappers, guys. Very, especially one of the best white rappers. This guy's amazing, guys. Let's get him, man. I like this. Wanna be rappers dissing me. I just spent the winter living after someone trying to send a kill shot missing me. Young blonde dying in the double X mob. Got a gang out in Sicily. Why you think they call me the gunner? I'm popping off on anybody if they trigger me. Black and yellow jacket on like I'm Kill Bill. Grew up strapping and I still will. We can oh, take it. This is absolutely fire. How have I never heard this before? Black and yellow jacket on me like I'm Kill Bill. You know in Kill Bill she wears that black and yellow everything. This is crazy. This is crazy. Like I'm Kill Black and yellow jacket on like I'm Kill Bill. Grew up strapping and I still will. We can take it back to 2012. I was trapping on the tour bus with Meek Mill. Take it back to Cleveland when the game changed. 17 years, no plea deal. 2014 when the people try to rob me in the lobby. I bet they can feel the feet still. Point on my enemy soon as they mention me. Call an assembly. Pick up a pen and put you out your misery. Written in history. It was gonna happen eventually. I just can't wait till the day that I run into you physically. For every <laughs> Bro, this is insane, guys. He said, written in history, it was going to happen eventually. Call an assembly, pick up a pen, and put you out your misery. So he's saying, to, I think he's still just an Eminem, guys. He's saying, should I put you out your misery, you know, rapping, rapping again. Then he also goes on to say, written in history, it was going to happen eventually. He thinks that the beef with Eminem was going to happen eventually. Maybe because they're both white rappers. That's kind of a thing. In, that's a thing in rap music, two white rappers going at it. <laughs> but he said, he said, I just can't wait until the day I run into you physically. <sighs> Bro. Ain't nobody got a problem until you run into them in person, bro. Come on, this is crazy, man. Who would win the fight, guys? Eminem or MGK? Let's go. Rewritten in history, it was gonna happen eventually. I just can't wait till the day that I run into you physically. For everything that I went through mentally, when it felt like everybody in the world was against me. When all the critics in every article tried to offend me, my daughter slapped the kid but talk about me in elementary. We ain't playing, it's deeper than the fame. People getting jacked for disrespecting the feeling oh. name. Two chopsticks, no low main. Hollow tips got no name. Bust them shits with no aim. Like it's bird box, put the blind forward as a black flag. This time to cover my face, the dash cam just saw me killing everybody. This is, this is like one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life. Bro, he said we can take it back. He said we can take it back to 2012 when I was rapping with Meek Mill, guys. That's crazy. He's saying, hollow tips got no, got no name, bust the shit with no aim. It's like bird box, but the blindfold is a black flag. You know, bl the black flag historically is like a pirate flag. And he was also in Bird Box, guys. You know, Bird Box was a legendary movie. And Machine Gun Kelly was actually in that movie as well. <sighs> bro, this is so sick, bro. And I love that guitar as well, that like heavy metal type sound. It's so sick. With the with the trappy type beat, with the hi-hats, with the, with the guitar. Ooh. This is dangerous, guys. This is crazy. Me killing everybody. I got off on flow 13, no in between. I rolled my weed with front to leaf. I chopped my coke on hotel keys. I chopped his face like Constantine. Constantly get deja vu. I see me when I look at you. I never die. I multiply, so don't cry at my funeral. I just spent too many minutes watching little videos of shitty wannabe rappers dissing me. <laughs> I just spent the winter living after someone trying to send a kill shot missing me. Young blonde dying in the double X mob, got a gang out in Sicily. 
Why you think they call me the gunner? I'm popping off on anybody if they trigger me. What would this generation of hip hop be without me here to piss y'all off? I see the blogs, I read the comments, I'm confused, I need to pause. Look at y'all waiting on me to fall off While I'm looking to chop, I'ma sweeten the Waldorf I sold 40 million records, I ain't even 30 Give me 20 seconds, I'll list 10 movies that I've been in One legend Ha, <laughs> okay, so he's just listing off all his accomplish accomplishments So he's saying I'm looking at you guys, the haters from a sweet in Waldorf So like obviously a super rich palace I sold 40 million records and I ain't even 30 years old So that's a hell of an achievement guys 40 million records and I'm not even 30 years old <sighs> He said I'm reading all these comments and all these bloggers like guys around the time with Killshot and, and the whole MGK disc stuff it was brutal man that was a crazy period in time like everyone was going crazy the whole internet was blown up that was probably one of my favorite periods of in life because 2017 was the best year guys craziness that tried to fuck with me and then got the venom one publication that said that I will never be in it one agent that told me with that or my career is finished and I couldn't give a single fuck inside my cerebellum y'all are one show suck go tell them we ain't sucking no dick in the 21-6 bro I always sit a land like back I'm on the 13th floor with a weapon oh my god that was good I'm going back guys one legend that tried to fuck with me got he said and got the venom so he's saying Eminem a legend so he's calling he's still calling Eminem a legend right so he still has mad respect for Eminem Eminem is one of the reasons MGK started rapping, but he's saying that he tried to mess with me and I gave him the venom. One agent that told me without it, my career would be finished and I couldn't give a single F inside my cerebellum. So like he's saying that the, the, the agent said, don't mess with Eminem, don't mess with the legends because your career will fall off. But he definitely hasn't fallen off, guys, right? His career is still mighty, mighty big. I need to pause. Look at y'all waiting on me to fall off While I'm looking to chop, I'ma sweeten the Waldorf I sold 40 million records, I ain't even 30 Give me 20 seconds, I'll list 10 movies that I've been in One legend that tried to fuck with me and then got the venom One publication that said that I will never be in it One agent that told me with that or my career's finished And I couldn't give a single fuck inside my cerebellum Y'all are one show suck, go tell them We ain't sucking no dick in the 21-6 Bro, I owe to the land like back I'm on the 13th floor with a weapon I heard that they call me, yeah Let them in I got something for him, yeah. Please forgive my sins. Blood on my round floor, and yeah. I can't watch this shit. Wake up, say good morning, yeah. Like I forgot. I got off on flow 13, no in between. I rolled my weed with front to leaf. I chopped my coke on hotel keys. I chopped his face like Constantine. Constantly get deja vu. I see me when I look at you. I never die. I multiply, so don't cry at my funeral. That's crazy. That was, that was one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life, guys. Whew. Guys. No cap. That was one of the best songs I've ever heard in my entire life. So that's from the album Hotel Diablo. Like I said, Floor 13. Dude, MGK, man. I never thought, like, I used to be big with him back when, in 2012. You know, when he did, you know, Philly for Life and all those kind of songs. But then he kind of like just started making different kind of music. He didn't make a ton of like rap music and this kind of thing. Bro, this dude is a savage, man. 2019, this was released. <sighs> 11 million views. This should have 100 million views. That's an amazing song. But, you know, obviously he's dissing Eminem. They're saying, oh, a legend trying to mess with me. And then I, I gave him the venom. He said, the kill shot didn't miss me. He said, I spent a whole winter living and I'm perfectly fine. So, because a lot of the times when Eminem would diss people, their careers would totally take a nosedive. But I don't think MGK's career took a nosedive. I think that he kind of went out of rap music. I think he did some other st stuff differently. He went into movies. So he kind of survived that. But yeah, normally a lot of people would like die from Eminem's uh, disses, but he didn't obviously. I love you guys all. Tell me in the comments below, please tell me other songs on Hotel Diablo. Hotel Diablo means the hotel of the devil, right? Devil's hotel. So, bro, that was crazy. So he's a rap devil hotel. So he's living in a hotel, world off. He's living like really good. But yeah, just crazy, guys. Ah, man, I love that. I'm not going to lie, guys. MGK killing it. I love you guys all. And I'll see you all in the next one, man. Peace.